up everybody, it's your boy T. Riley here and I got for y'all today a little vintage find uh, that we, we went to, uh, me and my wife went to a place in Bryant, Arkansas. That's right, right? Bryant, Arkansas? Mm -hmm. And it was called the Cotton Shed Vintage Market. Market. Cotton Shed Vintage Market. I don't really know why awesome I'm doing place. that. Yeah, it is. It, oh man, it's it's amazing. We we spent like at least a good three, four hours in there, right? Every time we go. Yeah. Yeah. Which this was our second time going. I might do eventually. I might need to do um, like a lot, like a walk through, you know, so y'all could see. Um, what is that called? A vlog, I guess. Yeah, a vlog. Do a vlog of going in there if they'll let me. I don't know if the place will let me. I don't see why not. But anyway, you know, some places are weird though that way. So, But anyway. Anyway, let's get started. First thing I want to show y'all is this bad boy right here. I didn't even take the little thing where the tag was on. But anyway, uh, also, it's a Mighty Mouse. If y'all don't know what Mighty Mouse is... It's a cartoon from 1979. I don't know if that's where it started, but this lunchbox is from 1979 because it says right here, 1979. It's a Mighty Mouse. It's supposed to be this really strong mouse. Of course, you know, he goes, flies around. Well, like, I guess a Superman kind of mouse. The Superman of the rodents, I guess you would say. But uh, what I really like is it also has the... Uh, the canister in it as well which is real hard to find if you ever find old lunch boxes with canisters in them that's a good find especially if they're old like they even had like a Flintstones one it was like 35 bucks I wanted the Care Bears Care Bears yeah mm -hmm. they all had the canisters in them too so hopefully they're still there when we go back I'll, you know slowly but surely get them as we go, those were the metal ones. This is a plastic one, but it's really cool. It has the thermos in it, like I said, and everything. So, uh, and I love Mighty Mouse. I love the old cartoons. You can't beat the old cartoons, especially like Hanna Barbera and stuff like that. I love Hanna Barbera cartoons and everything. They just give a better feel. Like the older cartoons give like a better feel. I don't know what it is you gotta really appreciate to you know what I'm saying but anyway I'm gonna go on start okay the next thing we got is a Candyland little lunch pail right here this is like 1998 I believe Let's see if it says yeah 1998 how do you say that Hasbro Hasbro that was like a little toy making thing and they also made like games and that stuff as well but this is the Candyland game and we just thought it was really cool if y'all have ever played Candyland y'all know that I've never played Candyland oh I know it's a disappointment oh my goodness I need to play so I can say I have I just I don't know what to think of you now baby cakers <laughs> You love me, sorry. We'll, but we'll, if y'all we'll haven't play. played, one day. This goes to you too, baby cakers, and everybody out there that has not played, y'all need to play. It's a fun game, you know what I'm saying. And while you're, it don't matter how old you are to play it. When you start playing it, you're gonna feel like you're a kid again. You're gonna be sitting there trying to cheat and everything else, but <laughs> hey, cheat. But anyway. I liked the I liked uh, the concept of it. I liked how cool it looked and everything. This would be cool to like, you know, display and stuff along with this, along with our other, you know, display them. That'd be cool to display. You know, it's a piece of when people Pretty walk much in. Everything we've gotten so far at this finished place, we could display. Yeah, well, that's what we're gonna do. That's what it's meant for. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Because they're really cool pieces. I like vintage finds because. It's a real cool like conversation piece. Someone walk in and be like, hey, where did you get that? Or hey, look at that guy. That's, you know, and then you could just start talking about it. And it's just a real good conversation piece. It's just, you know, and it brings back a lot of, you know, a lot of it, a lot of this stuff. If it could like, piece of history, if it could right talk, there. yeah, if it could talk, just imagine some of the things, some of these things would say. Like imagine like, you know what I'm saying? What, what, it, would, what it would tell you. 
Especially this guy right here. Yeah! This guy right here, 1971. I didn't get to get, I wasn't able to get the pop of Doughboy, so I got the original one. That is the original. He's the like the granddaddy of the pop uh, Doughboy right here. This is the original, 1971. This is like one of the first, look at him, figures, he's, so he's dirty and everything, but I mean, 1971, I mean, what, what do you expect? <laughs> exactly, I mean, he's been around, he'd probably tell you a lot of things if he could talk, <laughs> but we'll set him up, look, give y'all another good look right there, look at him, ain't he awesome? Yes, I didn't get my pop, but I got something I, to me, is better. I agree. Yes. Sit right there, buddy. This, oh, this is gonna go somewhere awesome. Got to go somewhere awesome. That bag. All right, next bag. Throw it on the ground. A lot of people might know this one. The Rugrats. Now this came out in 1998. Give y'all a look. Right there. Let y'all see it. Of course, this is from this is the action pack from the movie, the Rugrats movie. And I look at the little little details and like you got like Tommy running, you got a little uh, his little brother Dilly. Dilly is in the in the Reptar the Reptar car. I guess he does get like a Reptar car. And then you got little Chucky holding off for dear life, trying to trying to save Baby Dill in the Reptar getaway Reptar vehicle. I like that because it that definitely uh, brings back memories right there of my childhood. I like playing that. I mean, I like to watch an old. I still watch the Rugrats. They still come on, yeah, so I'm that's about cool. Yeah, I to say we still watch Rugrats like almost every yeah, night. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, this came out in 1998 from Hot Wheels, so that's cool. I guess it's it's vintage because it's 20 years, you know, over 20 years. So that's neat. You got all the they got Toy Story, Solar Racing. Drag racing, the Apollo mission, the snow plower, and the sky search on here that came, like, I guess, like, part of it. Now, this was real neat. Oh, the Toy Story one would be cool. Hang it up. Yeah, the Toy Story one would be cool. We'll go hang it up somewhere. That'd be awesome. Oh. Tommy, Chucky, Dill, and Lil. Or Phil and Lil. Yeah. <laughs> What was that? Rug rat. It's the rug rat rat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. All right. Next, we got the hundredth anniversary diecast model and the diecast model. Yeah, the diecast model souvenirs. One's like a, a bug, and one's like an old beef, like beef steak, tomato soup truck, like old truck. All right, here. These came Campbell. out in 1997. Well, 1997 made the 100th year, and the, so they made, they, I guess they decided to make these to celebrate the 100th year, the 100th anniversary, and uh, we just, we got to get this one because it had the uh, the beetle right there. You mean bus. No, well, beetle bus. That's like, I guess, well, can't Volkswagen you come? Volkswagen bus. It's a beetle bus, yeah. Whatever. Bus. Volkswagen bus. I call, I say beetle bus. You know, the hippie van. And then you got the old timey van right there. I don't know if y'all guys can see it. Alright, I don't know if y'all can see Oh man, what was that? We got ghosts. No, it was all them boxes. I, I wish I could take it. Down. I wish I could take it out. I don't know if it would be good. We need to take it out, actually. So yeah, we can, you need to take it out. Let me go ahead and take it out so y'all could, because I don't think y'all can see on that. It ain't doing no justice on there. We got to take it out anyway so to display it. 
All them people were seeing was that it was $15. $15, and actually it was on sale. So, hey, right, got, got, some good, got a good find. Yeah, got a good find there. See, there goes that, this one. There we go, that's better. Look at the look at the detail on it. And it was made in 1997, so it's vintage. It's over 20 years. That's what it says. Everything over 20 years is vintage. And if it's like 100 years, somewhere around there, it's like antique, antique. So, yeah. So, Campbell Soup's antique, but these are vintage. Which I like it. Look, you get... That's some good detail on there. Those will be real cool to display. Those will be a very good conversation piece. Here's the other one for y'all guys. We love going to find all these uh, vintage stuff. It's real fun to just, you know, explore and find all this. There's so many things that we want to get from there. It's an awesome place. They have great stuff. Uh, you can find great deals at this place. So, that's real cool. These are going to be real awesome to display. Good conversation pieces, like I said. You know, who you walk in, you see an old 100th anniversary, you know, cars from Campbell's. Campbell's made cars. Huh? Anyway, next. Oops. <laughs> trying to get... Trying to get all this, the, all you the... You took the top off. Yeah, it's a little piggy bank right here. It's a Looney Tunes piggy bank, 1998, I believe. 1999. 1999 Warner Brothers piggy bank. Has a little... I like it because it's, a. Uh, it's 10. Right there, I think you got Bugs, Wile E. Coyote... And, um, what you might call it? Uh, uh, what's his name? The rooster's name. And you got Porky Pig and his girlfriend on the back. And on this side, you got Taz, Daffy, and Sylvester. They're all like, I guess, you know, going to play some ball. They're a team. And, of course, Marvin the Martian, right there, driving. And I like it because I like anything with t that's made of tin. Cause it's just it gives it more of a, like a feel to it, and you know it's cool cause it's a little piggy bank. If you want to put keep a change in it, that's a cool conversation piece again. You know it's just it don't really roll. It ain't meant to roll, but ain't that cool? Just set it somewhere, set it like this, or kind of count. We'll, we'll figure some way to set it kind of counterwise. You know, on to victory. That's neat. No, put the wheels good. There we go. And then, well, not last, but last out of the bags. This, of course, Coca Cola, because Coca Cola is like a staple, especially if you're like from the South. It's a staple of the South, because Coca Cola started in um, Georgia. I think it was uh, um, Atlanta, to be exact. So anybody pretty much from the South, I'm not saying everybody, only people from the South, but a lot of people from the South like to collect Coca-Cola because it's a staple of, you know, their childhood and it's where Coca-Cola began. And also it is just very collectible. <laughs> yeah, and also it's uh, very collectible, like she said. But also this has some real cool pieces on it. Past part of the game. The pause, the refreshness. Part of the game, the pause, the refreshness. So, I think it does pretty much, yeah, different scenes. The same ones on this side and then on the front. Back in the front, or, well, I don't know, this could be back front. It don't really matter, I guess. That one says delicious and refreshing. You got the kids reaching for the Coca-Cola and the Coca-Cola um, cooler. After playing some be some baseball, trying to refresh themselves. Yep, and this one, okay, this is a. Uh, see, 1993. So that's cool. And plus, you can keep like put something in there, put some 
I don't know, whatever you want, or you could just keep it as a, straight up as a, you know, piece to, you know, what you might call it. I have a brain fart. Don't mind me. Anyway, next, and the last, is the comics I picked up. These are some of the, oh, I love these comics, okay. First one is in the Ren and Stimpy. The Ren and Stimpy one. This is a, says you see right here, 30 years of X-Men 1963 to 1993. And this one, it's Sp uh, Spider-Man versus Powder Toast Man. Powder Toast Man, um, uh, uh, like got like brainwashed or like got like kind of hypnotized by this villain. So Spider-Man comes in and he goes to try to save Powder Toast Man and everything. I don't want to give away any of the stuff, but you got Ren and Stimpy. There's Ren right there, the Chihuahua and Stimpy, the cat, which he's a, he's a slow little feller. If y'all haven't watched it, I would suggest watching it because it is a funny cartoon. Um, you don't really see much of them on, on TV anymore as well. But yeah, I love this. This is a great comic. I already read it. This is one of, one of the ones I've read already. Next, I got one of my favorites. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Right there. It's 1996. By Peter Lord. I guess that's his name. Direct Market Exclusive. Right here. I guess this is supposed to be the first edition right here. Lightning Comics. But, yeah, so if you notice, these are the original Ninja Turtles. I don't know why they started uh, making the Ninja Turtles look crazy like they do now. And ever since, like, Nickelodeon started doing it, I don't have nothing wrong, nothing against Nickelodeon. Because I love Nickelodeon cartoons, but they just... They just destroy. The kids nowadays won't never know really how awesome the Ninja Turtles were because like now they make them like the cartoon figures are like got brick heads, like little round like block looking heads, and then like I didn't care much for the the new Ninja Turtle movies because they kind of look like I don't know they look bulky and. I don't know what they did to them, but if you ever get a chance, go back and watch like the 1990s version of uh, the Ninja Turtles, and you will know a whole different, uh, have a whole different respect for them. Um, Ninja Turtles are awesome. I love the Ninja Turtles. Um, as a kid, I had like everything Ninja Turtle. Next, I want to show y'all is the G.I. Joe Special Missions right here. Um... When did this one come out? This one was uh, 1980s, 1986. Yeah, 1986. 1986. Look, you even see the Schwinn's. Man, Schwinn's was the the bomb back in the day. Those bikes are were awesome. They still make them a little bit, but not not like you know, like the Apple Crate and stuff like that. You could make them into the low riding uh, bikes and stuff. But anyway. This is uh, the G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe! And knowing is half the battle. That was the little saying. Be like, oh, now I know. And knowing is half the battle. So, yes. G.I. Joe is awesome. I haven't read this one yet. So I want to get into it. And read it. I love G.I. Joe. They, they even had some like old G.I. Joe character figures and stuff like that there that might eventually get as well because those were real neat and the last one i got is one of my favorite it's like a like a it's like a cartoon slash not it was roger rabbit right here if you have, if any of y'all ever watched uh who framed roger rabbit uh it's a real awesome movie i would suggest go watch it it's called Who Framed Roger Rabbit, but this is the comic. And this is Roger Rabbit and Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf. Where, like, this wolf right here is actually, he got, like, framed and everything. And Roger, that's Roger's buddy, actually. 
and he goes out and he tries to um, help the detective uh, clear up his name and everything. But I ain't gonna, like I said, I ain't gonna give away everything. If you want to read the comic, go find the comic. You can probably find it online. They're not expensive or anything. So you go find it online. Um, any Roger Red. Yeah! This was awesome. But anyway, that's that. That was my retro find. My vintage find. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, I know I enjoyed it. Uh, going and finding this I love find I love vintage stuff it's just it's just they're great pieces and and there's just something to really talk about and you know I enjoy I enjoy the search the search is real fun if y'all ever you know if y'all do it y'all know what I'm talking about it's real it's great to go and find this stuff um, anyway that's it if y'all liked it give a thumbs up um, as always, subscribe to me and ring my bell, ring my bell, and, uh, leave comments in the comment box if y'all, you know, have any questions or you want to say something, or if y'all know some places y'all go, i like to hear some of y'all's vintage finds, or, yeah, whatever, antiques or whatever y'all, you know, uh, collect, i like to hear, and then, as always, share, Sharing is caring, and I love you guys, and you already know it's coming. Go on, get!